to my Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. This is my bonus book haul for all you guys out there. This is super exciting to me. Just went to Boston, saw family, went to two bookstores, bought more than I should have. It's all good. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. So first I went to the New England Book Mobile, no, the New England Mobile Bookstore. And that used to be like walls to wall books and organized by publisher and I was super excited to go back everything was going to be 20% off it's still a 20% off but all the like more classic kind of hard to find books were not there anymore which was sort of a bummer but I still did okay and then the next day I went to this is heavy the Brooklyn Booksmith oh. and I will link their online shopping below it's a lot in there. So that's heavy. And that's actually all the books from all of it. So I was thinking, you know, hey, I'll pick up like five books while I'm down there. Nope. Nope. Not how it ended. And, uh, you know, it's cool. I'm cool with that. I have my water. But uh, I'm going to start with this. I opened my best friend Stevie's Christmas gift to me early. And it's a good thing I did because... I needed this, and I didn't know I needed it. So now I know that I needed it. And this is called Legends. And it is women who have changed the world through the ages, through the eyes of the great, great women writers. I didn't know I needed this. So now I know that I needed this. And I'm so excited. Look how pretty. And the pictures. And it's just, I'm literally flipping through random pages. So excited. And that'll be like a new treasure that I will never, ever, ever let anyone else borrow because I'll get nervous. So let's start with the actual book haul of things that I actually bought. <laughs> let's start with the three that I picked out last night that I've decided to read first before the rest of them. Starting with... Chucky by John Wyndham. Introduction by Margaret Atwood. Super excited. Have not read any John Wyndham yet. I wanted to find the chrysalids first, but I could not find it for the life of me. So this just happened to be the first one I picked up. I'll probably buy the chrysalids if I don't get them for Christmas after Christmas, and that'll be fine. But actually, this one looks like a good one as well. It looks like it's kind of a little weird and dark and fun and figments of the sun's imagination so there's hallucination maybe some mental illness i feel like this is all good acacia stuff i'm gonna drink some water sorry i'm super thirsty slightly hyper been out all day doing the last minute christmas shopping stuff ha huh? this one i literally saw i know nothing about it i have no idea what it is um but i saw a girl on the fridge by Edgar Cart and I was immediately drawn to it and <laughs> I just thought that it looked like amazing and on the back it says a birthday party magician whose hat tricks end in horror and gore a girl parented by major household appliances the profess the processor of lowest IQ is mo muzzed mo no. Um, da, 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 da. Girl in a Fridge contains the best of Kurt's first collection and ones that made him a household name in Israel and a major discovery in the last decade. Huh. That part I didn't read. I didn't really read the back. I just saw the friend and I was like, I want you. I mean, look at that. It's just a great cover. I thought it was really cool. So I'm excited. Some short stories, something really fun, something different. And now I actually know it's a different kind of cultural read as well. Jessica Jones, alias. I don't know if you've been watching Jessica Jones on Netflix, but I have. And oh, Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. Why? It is like I want to binge watch so hard, but I can't because I'm watching it with my family. So I bought the graphic novel to get around that. Um, I'm actually very, very excited. This is the first, therefore, 
I've gotten a few pages in. I've not really read a lot of graphic novels. I'm actually enjoying this one, though. So we will see how that goes. Now let's start reaching into the bag. First is The Driver's Seat by Muriel Sparks. Jen Campbell, thank you. As always, thank you. I just know that it's going to be good. That's all I know, because... Jen Campbell never actually tells you the plot. She just tells you it's amazing and you need it. And then you go, oh, yes. Yes, I need it. In my last video, I talked about authors that I wanted to read. John Wyndham was on that, which I already showed you Chalky. The second, one of the other authors was Agatha Christie. And I asked my followers who were what book would be the best to start with and what of my followers recommended. And then there were none. And I am so glad she did because as soon as I saw it, I picked it up immediately. And I will link her channel down below and give her a little shout out. Um, I thank her so much for her opinion, and I'm starting off with this knowing nothing about it, and actually very excited about that. Next girl, next girl I picked up, next book I picked up is The Danish Girl by David Eberschloss. If you've seen the movie ads for this, then you know what it's about. If you haven't seen the movie ads for this, I'll give you a quick synopsis. I believe that this is a book that takes place in the 1920s, and it takes, hey, oh, okay. Set against the glamour of the 1920s, uh, Copenhagen, Paris, and Dresden, Dresden, this stunning first novel explores the boundaries of sex, gender, love, and marriage, and a journey to become one's self. Loosely inspired by a true story of the tender portrait of marriage, what would you do if the love of your life decides that they want to change? I'm excited about this, actually. Very excited about this. And... I've been super excited about the book, and I think it's very important, and I think the movie's going to be important. And I think that in, ge in general, gender conformity and gender conversation is very, very important. And I think we need to be more aware of it as a conversation and less afraid of it, because it's really not something to be ashamed of or nervous about or feel like you shouldn't talk about it. The next book I picked up was... <coughs> <laughs> okay the wilds by julia elliott and i am very excited this has been on my tbr for a while i believe brooke did a review of this i will link it down below um this she sold me on it i think she said it's southern gothic super excited and cover love is out of control. Next, there once was a girl who seduced her sister's husband, and then he hung, and then he hanged himself. <laughs> oh dear! Yes, I picked this one up. Instead of there once lived a woman who tried to kill her neighbor's baby, which is the next one I will pick up. This one was just at a better price, and I found the there once lived a woman who tried to kill her neighbor's baby online for a better price so i will pick that one up later but right now this is the one i have and i'm very excited about this this one says it's love stories which i am highly interested to see um it's by ludmila petrovaniska van Then in the Brooklyn booksmith store, they were running around. Everything was crazy and chaotic. And one girl asked me if I needed any help. And she showed me a few books. And then I asked her, what's the one book you would shove into every single person who walks into this door's hands? And she said, well, what do you like? And I said, I will read anything. And this is what she grabbed once upon a river. And she said it is dark and a little bit freaky and a little bit... Um, scary, but not too scary. Um, and it says, Bonnie Jo Campbell has created an unforgettable heroine in 16-year-old Margot Crane, a beauty who is unflinching gaze and uncanny ability with the rifle have not made her life any easier. After a violent death of her far father, Margot takes to the river in search of her mother with only... The biography of Annie Oakley and her name, her river odyssey through the rural Michigan... Be 
comes a defining journey and leads her beyond self-preservation and deciding what price she will pay for her choices. I think that sounds pretty darn good. So I'm excited. And this is by Bonnie Jo Campbell. Yes. Well done. Jen, thank you very much. In the House Upon the Dirt Between the Lake and the Woods by Matt Bell. I found it and I was so excited. And now I'm going to read it soon. It's got something on it. Super excited. Debut novel. Super mythical. Um, Jen says it's very experimental, which I actually very much enjoy. And I'm excited to read this. And it's a... Ooh, a gripping, grisly tale of husband's descent into the ultimate emergence for some kind of personal hell. Perfect! I sense that this will be my type of book. Something is wrong with me. Next we have The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is the 50th edition. It's so pretty. Do you say the prettiness? Ah! Uh, textured edges. I'm really not sure what that's called. It's like uneven. And it's pretty. And I love it. And I love it. If you don't know what Sylvia Plath's Bell Jar is about, where have you been? I haven't read it. So I don't know where I've been either. But... I know I'm going to read it now because it's about mental illness and it's about, I believe it's about a woman's um, life in a mental asylum and some really bad things happen to her, including shock therapy and things like that. And on the back it says, I felt very still and very empty the way the eye of the tornado must feel moving dully along in the middle of the surroundings of the hullabaloo. Yes, I think so. Two left. We have Swamplandia by Karen Russell. This will be my first Karen Russell book. I'm excited. I found this one used, which was actually, I'm actually very happy. It's in really good condition, aside from this little bended corner here, which is very clearly from somebody picking it up in the bookstore and putting it back in the wrong location. Bad people with bookstores that are handling things. Bad. You need to not bend things. Make them flat. They are books. They should be loved and hugged and have good homes where people pick them up and read them and are like, oh, magic. And then they read them and hand them to other people and say, look, magic. And then people are happy. Yes. Last but not least, Pretty Deadly Volume 1. Thank you, Mercedes. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it's about. I just know that, ooh, yes. Mercedes said that it had very good artwork. And it does. And I don't understand a thing that is happening. But I am very excited about it. And I actually really, really, truly love the cover. I don't know what this is. No clue. That is your bonus book haul today. Which will actually just be December book haul number two in the title. But bonus book haul. Sounds so much better. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye.